In this video, you're going to see how to create hierarchies with PowerPivot in Excel. Hierarchies allow users to create subgroupings that roll up to a single category. This allows users to drill into aggregate figures to see the details that make up a broader category. This can provide insights into which segments are working and which are causing issues. And it's quite easy to move between the detail and summary levels. In our example, we have a data set of daily sales figures for four different divisions, East, North, South, and West. Each division has two branches, Branch A and Branch B. Each branch sells one or more different product numbers. So our hierarchy starting from the highest level is division, followed by branches, and then product numbers are at the lowest level. Before we begin, make sure Power Pivot is enabled in Excel. If you don't see the Power Pivot ribbon at the top, do the following. Go to File, then Options. In the dialog box that appears, click on Add-ins. In the drop-down list at the bottom, select Com Add-ins and click Go. In the next dialog box that appears, make sure that the box is checked next to Microsoft Power Pivot and click OK. Next, we'll click anywhere inside our table. Under the Power Pivot ribbon, click on the option to add to data model. This displays the data view of our table. We'll go ahead and format our revenue column in accounting style. Then we'll switch to the diagram view to add our hierarchies. This displays our table and field names. From here, we'll right-click on the highest level, division, and create a hierarchy. Following that, right-click on each subsequent level and select Add to Hierarchy. On the Home ribbon, Click on the Pivot Table arrow and select Pivot Table. We'll add this to a new worksheet. In the dialog box to the right, expand the arrow to display our fields. We'll drag our hierarchy fields to our row labels. Then expand our other fields and drag our revenue field to our values section. Notice that our row labels have a plus symbol to the left. This means they can be drilled into. Under the Pivot Table Analyze ribbon, click on Expand Field to see the next level. Then click on any second level label and hit Expand again to see the sublevel. The Collapse Field button does just the opposite. You can also expand and collapse levels individually. Just click on the plus icon to the left of a label. Next, we'll add a chart. Under the Insert ribbon, select Pivot Chart. Here we'll go with a 3D style bar chart. Since we'll have detail level data, you will need to expand the chart size. We'll also change the chart design to something that will work better with our multiple levels. We'll delete our chart title for additional space. At the bottom left corner of our chart, there are plus and minus buttons to expand and collapse the levels of our chart. We can see branch level detail as well as product level. This can be useful to see which products are working best for each branch and which ones are failing. Keep in mind that when creating a chart like this, it's best to keep the row labels as simple as possible. We can also filter the chart by hierarchy values. We can see that product two has not worked well for the North Division B branch, but product one has done well for both branches. Different chart designs might work better than others depending on a given data set. Experiment with different designs under the Design ribbon. This design works great with the hierarchy labels because it blocks off each category with lines. That's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.